back to Forza Horizon 4, and on today's video, we are doing something that I think everyone will enjoy. Doing the little kid version of the hypercar Holy Trinity, the supercar Super Serenity. This is basically like a challenge where every one of us is going to get into a supercar. However, there are a couple of cars out there in Forza Horizon 4 that are labeled under hypercars, but we consider them supercars, such as the uh, Lamborghini Aventador and the uh the zenvo st1 okay i'll touch on that in a minute uh but essentially guys we are going to be using supercars not hypercars um essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to cruise around great britain and then ultimately what we are going to do in the end is we are going to do the goliath to see which of the supercars we have chosen is the best so the first thing that i'm going to be choosing this car is fully stocked i have no modifications to it the uh, class limit is S1900. Oh, are we doing stock or not? Oh, are we doing stock, right? Well, okay. We um, are stock. Okay, so it, it, I mean, okay. Here's the thing. It's not. It's not. The limit isn't S1900, but like that's like the general area. As the per, the um the general area oh the general area of the stock car that you're yeah because one of us might end up choosing like you know the um like in hypersport or the Ferrari 488 pista which are both S2 cars so I mean if you guys you know just want to choose but they're not that big of a deal so they're just cars that we call supercars all right let's see what you guys chose Bryce is getting his fit by the way. Oh, that's why he's all phased out. Bryce in the Ford GT here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but he's in a Ford GT. Uh, David's in the NSX. Gabe is in a Zenvo. And Blake is in a Chameleon? I actually I actually really like the NSX, only because my uncle helped design that. He works for Honda Acura. He helped design the, uh, yeah, he helped design the uh, headlights and the... <laughs> And then the engine intakes, and uh, what I think is actually kind of the coolest part. He designed the seats, because, you know, interior always matters. Oh, price is back. Yeah, uh, there's uh, the worst. Oh, no. Do We're doing it at the airstrip, because it's the longest. Airstrip, where's that? That's, uh... uh oh. Right there. Mm. That's right, oops, Carson. Okay. The only thing is, is that... Despite being rear-wheel drive, Gabe's car has a thousand horsepower. He's gonna use that on the straightaways to catch up with me, since I have like six hundred and something. Yeah, no, no, no. Excuse me, I have like nine hundred something. Short, so, like such a short airstrip, like that I can, I, I can't, I literally cannot catch up. Is everyone ready? Well, that's you in the train. Not yet. Yeah, right, stop. Is everyone ready? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm gonna start in second. Perfect Monte gets ahead. Come here, Blake. No. 156. 150. 158. Oh, see, yup. I was right. That rear wheel drive kicks in, and then Gabe's car is probably going to be the best one here. Because he, he has a thousand horsepower. Alright, well, now that, Blake, we, okay, now that we did man. that, uh, now that we did that. Actually. Now that we, uh. Hey, you're pulling a tiny you, guys, you guys might be faster in the straightaway, but I might be faster on the corners. The all wheel will take on the corners. Oh, yeah. And they'll take right, on guys. all the group because you guys will put more throttle into it. Alright, guys, here's what we'll do. We're just gonna take a cruise down to the, uh. down to the Goliath. Okay, hold on. Right. You, uh, before we start it, if, if I'm gonna send Chris one more invite if he doesn't join the second one. Okay. Well, you take your way, Gabe. I'm taking mine. Alright, I'm gonna catch up to a cruise. I have like 915 horsepower, so. I might take a Okay, about the Zen. Sorry. About the Zen, though. Next update, I'm actually really interested because we might be getting a really, really badass hypercar in the game. It's called the TSR, and it is literally the weirdest hypercar. It's literally the weirdest hypercar I've ever seen. 
when it goes into a turn, instead of like, you know, when it, when some dude breaks and the, you know, the rear wing like folds up like an air brake, it actually like, like my. yeah, yeah, but it's weird because it, that it, one turns, to get it more turns, dynamic. like it, I'm, I'm going to show, I'm, I'm going to show a quick video here, guys, this is what the TSR does when it's like going through a turn, okay, look at that, that is freaking weird, I mean, okay, I'm not a Zenvo person, like, I know this from experience because I've actually seen how they catch on fire. Um, I'm actually interested to see if we actually get that TSR in the game because that is a badass looking hypercar. I'm actually really interested in that. My car is labeled under track toys. Just it's it's not though. It's just a supercar with a wing. Why do you uh, wait, why do you Pandem and Rocket Bunny have the same thing? Are they the same company? Um, Pandem is owned by Rocket Bunny. Is that a Playboy or, or a Rocket yeah, Bunny? Yeah, that's Playboy logo. That's Playboy logo. Okay, Rocket that's what to say. Like, logo, Cause that's what to say. If that's like Rocket Bunny, that's different. one. If that was Rocket Bunny, that's one thing, but that's... No, Rocket Bunny is a... Uh, it's a, it's a, it's it's a two... It's, it's a, a two Jonathan little... Okay, but it's, funny. it's like the two fingers with like the peace sign on it, isn't it? Like? Oh, I'm thinking of it's, Liberty Walk. Liberty Walk is the one with the, the no, two... No, you're like, thinking of Pandem. You're thinking of the Pandem peace sign. No, 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 no. There's a... There's a wide body company with like like the peace sign looking thing, isn't it? Yeah, like Pando. I thought it was Liberty Walk. No, I don't know. I don't know. Who cares? Who cares? LB. I don't know. Who cares? We're starting to Goliath. My car is really cool. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. Mine, mine is also for sure. I forgot how much the Perfumante costs, but I know it's like thirty grand more than the than no, the base model uh, one. Two point three. It's not, it's not a million. It's over. Dude, it's, 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 it's over. It's not a million dollars. It's like, wait, what? I the base it's model it's Huracan is like 200. Where's my MSX? The base what's model Huracan is yeah, like, th like. Yeah, I think the. Uh, what? I, is like 150 uh, grand. I, I can't. Okay. It, Carson? Mm. I, yeah, I didn't, get a, I didn't get enough time to choose my MSX. Oh, did you okay. need to. Can you, just, can you just tab it over until it says current car? Yeah, you, yeah, you can actually. Oh, for God's sakes! Playboy vape god just joined back. Oh, let me choose my car. I did. It. Nice. There was Bryce or Blake. Yeah. Okay, I can yeah, choose my Perfumante. Who's not? Uh, who's not joining? That's uh, Carson. No, I'm joining. I said, why? She said she wanted to get a freak on. I said, well, goddamn, I'm down with that. God dog it. They do all that type of shit, stick it real good. How about they call me Super D, bitch? You know what the bitch wanted me to do? She say Super D, Super D. I want you to shit on me. I said, what? The bitch want me to shit on her. I said, you got Super D f up. But I ain't that freaky. God motherfucking damn. And yeah, for some odd reason, essentially, oh yeah. And before, and like for some odd reason, like the sun's shining. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, I will have to point out that Gabe did actually put some modifications on there because I did say that we can do that. The knots are between a thousand horsepower and extreme instinct. Nope, never mind. It's between you and the road. I just hit it twice. Oh dear. Why is Mopey County me? Because, well, no, because like. Because you're slow. I'm not that slow. Oh, too late, Blake. We just started doing the. I, well, no, I, I guess we're not that too, we're not that too far in the race, guys. Should we just like slow down and wait for him? Like, should we just like let him in or? He chose to eat me over us. I know, right? He chose you. Bitch, I'm in bad. I'm so bad you can too. you can eat the food no, cell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh jeez! Oh no no! Oh jeez! It's the bridge. Oh, oh, it's the bridge. Back. You know what that means? Blake, we're in the. Blake, you know how you said that your dad just doesn't like you and he's gonna be buying a Tesla Model Three or whatever? And the cyber yeah. truck. Didn't, he, didn't you say he yeah. was like buying a model three or like every time the Tesla goes? He said he, he's gonna buy the model S, the P ninety D, and the cyber the best cyber truck. How come we haven't seen images of that yet? 
Like from what? Like from you. How come we haven't seen like, you know, you know, a, a cyber truck in your driveway? Because they haven't come out taking this. Oh. <laughs> well, no, they have. Oh. Just, they're like, they're on like three. Yeah. They're on pre-order, but you can pick up the now as well. I just, I, I honestly, I just think that a vehicle like that, I just, it's just hideous. Honestly, I'll I can work. It's, okay, so what did, what, did, what did Elon Musk say that it was priced at, like, $39,000? Yeah. No. No, it's closer to forty five. dollars it, it's, 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 it's dirt cheap, and I would have expected something like that, because it's a Tesla, and it's like a Cybertruck-looking futuristic thing. I would picture it as, like, $100,000, honestly. You get a free HDB. I'd rather drive the HTV as a But, okay, for the same $40,000, you can get yourself a freaking 5.0 Mustang. So which would you rather take? I'd rather I mean, take the Mustang. Is, uh, I can get the C8 Corvette for that much. No, you can't, because the Corvette, the new Corvette costs 60000 It's a baby Ferrari. I thought it cost less. No, it costs about sixty grand. Do you think you're being uh, uh, Can you guys, 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 guys like, like... Wait, what? Uh, you guys what? let me into the race? Didn't you look into the No. Uh, can you guys, like, stop yeah. the race, please? I was gonna get a car at CA, and I just was like, nah. Your transmission's gonna blow up eventually. It's not gonna blow up eventually. How many miles are on that train? Well, the old dump, well, the... The, the, it stopped around at around 217,000 miles, and I say it stopped. I say it's. I, no, I'm saying it stopped because the the mileage meter doesn't work. It stopped. It stopped reading miles. It's now stuck on like 271,114 like or something. Below today. It blows around 280. It's you up. can bait that transmission. You won't make it 300 in that trans. Okay, that's because I won't be having it for like long. I won't be driving it every. I won't be driving it everywhere. It's just, it's just a get around car. I mean, like you know. <laughs> but it's becoming summer, so you're going to bring out your uh, little baby. Honey. Um. Sorry, he you sold the. <laughs> All he has is his fucking V6 Mustang now, because he got rid of his challenge. Oh, he got the point again. Like, yeah. My dad's Volkswagen can be better. Well, yeah, because that's my a fucking like, newer car. car. It's a 25-year-old Mustang. What do you mean? My dad's my dad Volkswagen is older than the Mustang. Wait, what, how, what, what, what year is it? 1983. Oh. Oh, oh that little thing works. Moss is a sports car. Oh, oh Jesus! Man, oh, 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 oh! Even with it, but it's still, even without the ball, it makes it more exciting. And get rid of that little thing? No, I'm not gonna get rid of it because I actually like the little thing. I'm just gonna put it in storage. So that in case. It's a, it's a car guy thing, okay? I mean, I had three cars at one point. You remember this? I had the Challenger, I had the Mustang, the old, the new one. I mean, I'm I'm just gonna have it in storage, you know, just in case you know something goes wrong with the one I will possibly get in the future. I'll just put it in storage. I'll put it on storage and insur insurance. That's all I'll do. Do you at least put some power in it? Yeah, so I'll try and put like a like a performance air filter into it or just something. I'll I'll do it. Like cold air I will in time. I will in time. But it's something. <laughs> Put its can and sticker on bumper. <laughs> I just, I will in time do something to it, okay? I, I promise you. But I will also get something for, for around senior year. I will promise I'm you guys. I'm Sienna can book it and gap you. Just guys, I promise you that I will get something <laughs> in the near future. Guys, I promise you in the near okay. future, I will get something. If it's Saturn beats his Mustang. He's not a car guy. Don't talk He's about Saturns. I was The word Saturn and Carson don't mix because I almost died by a Saturn, okay? If I freaking caught on fire by one. Who's having an orgasm? <laughs> With that being said, if you guys are out there looking for a supercar to buy, both in Forza and in real life, 
it very well has to be the Lamborghini Huracan Performante simply because it is the best out of the five cars, well four now since David left, uh, that have went around the Goliath race and finished first. Thank you very much for watching guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, follow us on Xbox as well as Instagram and Discord, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for more guys, peace out. Ding.